fall down as the bitch that I want. Oh, goddamn, diamonds all in my front. Like 7 a.m., I was fucking your love. 11 a.m., you took that bitch right to Brian. Before I start this video, I just want to say that my teardropper badge guy video, I'll be taking that down and putting it back up later on today because I'm going to just put in how to get the Hall of Fame badge too instead of just teardropper. Anyway, let's get into the video on how to get the Slasher Pro Grand Badge. Um, I didn't get a video clip of where I got it, but I did take the screenshot. But anyway, to get the Grand Badge Slasher Pro all you need to do is do exactly what you did to get every other badge for the slasher. Dunk, Tears Opress, Relentless Finisher, One Man Fast Break, and Acrobat. The requirements for getting the Grand Badge, you had to be at least 86 overall. And I think you have to have at least one Hall of Fame badge and all your other badges had to be gold. When I got it, all my badges were Hall of Fame. But... I recommend that you try to get the grand badge while you're trying to get all the Hall of Fame badges. Also, when I unlocked my grand badge, it wasn't off of a contact dunk. It was just a regular slam dunk, so you don't have to get contact dunk or anything. You just attack the basket, basically. Since you're a slasher, you attack the basket. In this video clip, you can see that I stole the ball. That's one man fast break, and I run up and I do a teardropper. To do a floater, you run up to the basket and as you get in close range, hold the right stick away from the basket. So if you're running down the middle, hold the right stick back. If you're coming from the right and you're going left, hold it to the right. Now the dunks, the dunks are self-explanatory. All you had to do is dunk the ball. Um, I usually stand down close to the logo so then I can just get the ball in the fast break and go up and dunk. For a relentless finisher, all you have to do is go in the paint and hold square if somebody's in your way it should make you animate into them and then it should be a relentless finisher for acrobat all you had to do is go up in the paint and when you see open lane go up and start a dunk animation when he starts it start tapping square and then he should change up his shot if you keep doing these then the grand badge should eventually pop up it's not going to be quick but it should pop up and it's worth it because in park, I'm going to record a gameplay of me using the grand badge, and I'll post it on YouTube, and I'll show you how good the badge is in park. So, see you in my next video.